So, just before sale, we are at the eye, and there was just press conference from MasterCard, who wants to make digital payments easily. And we just got a presentation about uh, how you can use your selfie and your fingerprints to uh, off authorize a payment uh, system. And that is a unique um, test which happens here in Holland and which is going to be implemented worldwide by MasterCard. So, um, thank you very much for that presentation, Aya Bali. You're in, uh, you're in charge of security at MasterCard Global. Huh? Right. Okay. Well, some numbers about uh, MasterCard. Uh, how many transactions do you do? How much value uh, and how much is digital? So MasterCard processes more than $4 trillion in volume every year. 4,000 billion, yeah. And how many transactions? So it's more than 40 billion transactions. Okay, so $100 per transaction, 40 billion, uh, 40 billion a year. And how, four, how many, p t 2 billion people have a card, huh? More than 2 billion cards, and that can be used at more than 37 million acceptance locations. And in how much of 200 countries. In 200 countries. So it's a nice uh, global company. And, and most of it still is uh, over the counter, eh? Is 70% uh, is, uh, is over the counter? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would even say seventy-five percent is over the counter. And twenty-five percent is digital on the internet, and the fraud. Most of the fraud now is not anymore on over the counter, but in the digital world. So fraud in the physical world still exists in countries where there are magnetic stripe cards. Yeah. America, <laughs> so only in America, most of the fraud they have absolutely no chip, uh, which reduces everything with eighty percent, and uh, so there is still a lot of fraud, but it's getting less and less, especially in Europe. And now the whole new frontier is the digital uh, world. So 25% of these transactions, so about 10 billion, are on the internet. And how are you going to reduce fraud there? So even in the US, EMV is coming in a very big way. So in the next two years, we will see US going totally EMV. So that is good that's a little money. chip. That's a little chip on a uh, card. That's a little chip on a card, and then. If you are physically presenting the card together with a PIN code, that's what we have in Europe. No, but uh, let's talk about digital. Yes. Okay, we're going to reduce the, the fraud on digital and make it easier to use yes. by using a selfie. You've uh, shown that here. So right. I can basically look at the app. I can show my face. I smile. I wink with my eyes. And then I've basic basically given permission. It's a replacement of the PIN code. Yes, it's a replacement of the password which you used to use. And we are really excited because this is the first live transaction we did in the commercial world. This at a real merchant with a real live card holder. Yeah. At Cadaster, you paid seven dollars, uh, seven euro to the Cadaster, and you basically used a selfie. You can also use fingerprint, right? Yes, you can use that too in this program, and you can use that globally. So at any global e-commerce merchant now, if you're a card holder enrolled with ABN Amro yeah. in this service. You can basically shop online. Okay, I go to Amazon.com, I check out with the MasterCard, yeah. and immediately I can pay with my selfie. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Now, if the merchant does an authentication request, then only yeah. do you need to do that. Many cases, the merchant may already know you as a very regular customer. They may not even do the check. But okay, and, and this is now the first test worldwide for MasterCard. So about 700 people are from AB and Emerald credit cards are going to use that? Yes, 750 people. Yeah. And they have not been selected. They can go to the website of ICS uh, and, uh, and, and basically say, I want to participate in that test. So I'm going to do that right, uh, right there. Yeah. So what happens with that? Uh, how, when did you start working on this technology, biometrics? So we've been working at it for more than 18 months to two years now. We, in fact, did an employee pilot last year and uh, we've been doing a lot of consumer research and our banks and merchant research so this is the final culmination of all the research yeah. um, and it works with Indian people it works with uh, black people it, it works, works with, with everybody yeah. yes it works <laughs> okay if I make a selfie of myself and I and you make a selfie and you basically take away your mustache will yeah. it still work no it won't no. So you need to make a new selfie when you make a change to the correct you have okay. to in your research, uh, what did people prefer, a selfie or a fingerprint? So, it's actually very surprising because I would have thought that they would find paying with their fingerprint easier. But actually, all our research indicates that people prefer selfie. Really? Yes. Okay, selfie. And voice, have you, you also researched you voice? Tested voice too. It is reliable as well. We are looking at testing that as well. But the most advanced uh, in terms of our technologies was fingerprint and selfie okay. and based on research these were the two technologies chosen mm -hmm. and uh, selfie seems to be the preferred choice especially of the young. Yep. 
up the young people. Okay. And then the uh, the thing is, you have a lot of fraud with digital when you have nothing, when you only uh, use the credit card number and the little the three digits uh, in the back. Yeah. If you start using a secret code, yes. fraud goes down quite a bit. Yes. But people hate it. Another yes. password? Yes, because there is a password. Merchants feel that can cause them inconvenience. And consumers, of course, forget it. Yeah. They get compromised too. So we believe this can really very effectively. And it reduces fraud with how much? 80%, 90%? No, more than that, yeah. 90%? Yeah, yeah, almost, absolutely. Okay. The cost of fraud at the moment is, is less than half a percent, eh? 2 per point, point three, point two percent. It's, it's really not a, a percent or something like that. It's, yes. it's really, so what is the advantage? Uh, it's not that the reduction of fraud is going to be the biggest problem. What is the, what is the nice thing about uh, a method like this? So actually, you've got to look at it both ways. The fact is that fraud is becoming very big in the digital space. Mm -hmm. So you've got to stop that because digital is going to be very, very big. What is 25% today is going to be very big tomorrow. So you've got to make sure that you have technologies which ensure that payment systems rem remain secure. The second big advantage is that today in the e-commerce world, a lot of transactions are declined. So there's a huge opportunity cost. How much, 20% or something? Almost 15, to depending on the country and the merchant. And there's a lot of false positives of that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so you are looking at, by introducing new technologies which can enhance consumer experience, you can actually much more reliable for the consumer as well. Yes. Yeah, but much more con uh, predictable for the consumer. You can always pay, and it uh, it doesn't give false positive uh, fraud uh, uh, signalization. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So we're doing this test. It happens uh, till November. When can uh, every consumer in the world use it? So we are doing a number of programs globally. In the next few weeks, we will start rolling out. You will see in multiple markets, and next year we hope to have full scale launch. So basically pay with your credit card, with your fingerprint and your selfie coming to you. First to ABN Embro for 700 people and then next year for the rest of us. Okay, this was the I in Amsterdam. Thank you very much. Thank you.